Hey guys, it's your boy Chris. Welcome to my kitchen once again. Today we're doing, let me show you, a nice pumpkin dish stewed down. And I've got some shrimp that I cooked very fast, nothing but a minute, that's going to be added back in there. I'm burning off that liquid now. It's almost done. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen as usual, guys. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. You're part of my family, and that's the way I see it. Show me some love. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, and below leave me your questions, comments, and concerns. This recipe here is something my mom shared with me a few years ago. Shrimp with pumpkin or pumpkin with shrimp. You're absolutely going to love it. Trust me on this. Wicked Chef here, Chris. Let's get cooking. Let's see if we can quickly run through the ingredients we'll be using today. A medium-sized onion, three cloves of garlic, Caribbean sunshine, one scotch bonnet pepper. I know you're looking kind of starving, but you know what? This is all I have right now, so I'm going to use this one. Uh, I'm going to use half of that scotch bonnet pepper, actually. I've got here a half a teaspoon of salt. You will adjust this to your own liking near the end of cooking, just to uh, verify that it is enough salt for you. We're going to need about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. If you've got olive oil, feel free to use that. It will give it a nice nutty sort of taste to everything. About a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. I've got here three quarter cups of peeled and deveined shrimp, nice and clean. I washed it with some lemon juice. Um, we're going to season up that in a second. And speaking about seasoning, I've got here one tablespoon of Caribbean green seasoning. If you don't already have this or you're new to Caribbean cooking, search Caribbean green seasoning or green seasoning on Google or YouTube and you will see I have a recipe and a video posted on how you can go about making that. Basically all it is, it's, it's all a bunch of fresh uh, herbs and, and stuff like that that we put together in the blender, we blend it all up and we usually store it in the fridge for when we're doing recipes such as this. And back here, pumpkin. I've got four cups of pumpkin, which I peeled and cubed and washed, and it's looking all nice and lovely, ready to go into the dish. And we're gonna finish things off a little bit with some brown sugar. I've got here one teaspoon of golden brown sugar. If I forgot anything, as usual, I will fill you in as we go along. The very first thing we wanna do is to season the shrimp. And all I'm gonna do is give it that black pepper in here. as well as that green seasoning paste that I mentioned earlier. That's gonna go in here. And that's it for seasoning this shrimp here. All we're gonna do now is give that a good stir and I'll let that marinate. Well, you know what? You really don't need for this to marinate because this is shrimp. It will actually start to cook the longer that marinade is inside there. So we really don't want that. So we can jump into cooking right away. I just wanted to quickly show you guys here. What I did was I went ahead and I chopped up the onion as well as the garlic very thin as well as the scotch bonnet peppers. A few things when working with scotch bonnet peppers. If, you're, if you appreciate the flavor and not the heat, you want to keep the seeds out of it. Toss the seeds out. That's where most of the heat is going to be. Second thing is be sure to wash your hands with soap and water after. It can irritate your skin. Anything you touch can cause some problems. Worst case scenario, you touch your eye, boy, you're going to be in some problems. And the third thing is um, wear gloves. If you're fairly new to handling scotch bond peppers, go ahead and put on some gloves. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Over here, I've got my pan heating on a medium-high heat, and we're going to get to cooking the shrimp now. My pan is nice and hot now, so all I'm going to do is toss in that vegetable oil in there. And immediately, I'm going to toss in the seasoned shrimp as well. I just want to cook this for about a minute, nothing more than a minute, a minute and a half. Because we don't want to overcook this shrimp, we're going to continue cooking this shrimp a little bit later on. But I want some of that flavor from the, the green seasoning as well as the shrimp um, to really flavor up the entire dish. It's been just over a minute and I'm just going to take all of that 
sort of quickly cooked shrimp. Put it back into the same container because we have some leftover marinade in there, some of that uh, green seasoning. What we're going to do now is that onion and garlic is going to go in there as well as the scotch bonnet pepper. And we're going to soften that up for about two to three minutes in the same pot here. The onion and garlic and scotch bonnet pepper is nice and soft now so I know it's released all that lovely goodness that I want in this dish. So in now we're going to add all that cubed up pumpkin. And all I did was I cubed it up into about half an inch pieces. And I'm just going to top it with that salt and give it a quick stir. All we're trying to do is sort of deglaze the bottom of this pan so all that goodness comes up. My pumpkin was sitting in water for quite a while because I didn't want it to go discolored after I peeled it and cubed it and I drained it dry. There was a little bit of liquid left back in the bowl there so that's quite fine. All we're going to do now and I'm going to turn my heat up to about medium for the first three or four minutes just to get this going then we're going to turn it down to low and place the lid on there. It's been about three minutes since we've added the pumpkin to the pot here and that noise you're hearing, that sort of sizzling that you're hearing means it's starting to release its own juices and it's come up to a point where it's actually boiling underneath all that goodness there. I'm going to turn my heat down to low Put the lid on there and let that cook until it goes to mush. I'll time it and I'll let you guys know how much time exactly it needs. The pumpkin has been cooking now on that low heat for about 25 minutes. Remember I told you guys there's going to be a lot of liquid sprouting up natural juices? So that's exactly what happened here. This pumpkin is pretty much fully cooked. It's tender, it's mashing up and that's the whole idea of this dish is that it comes into a nice sort of a, a thick goodness. So all I'm going to do now is add that brown sugar in there and that gives it a nice little earthy sweet sort of undertone. You won't really taste that sugar. So if you're thinking this is going to be a sweet dish, uh, think again. This is not going to be sweet one bit. I'm just going to turn up my heat now. I want to burn off most of that liquid because we want this nice and thick. So the heat is on medium high, closer to high now, I'm burning off all that liquid because I want this to dry up. A good pumpkin, well stewed up pumpkin like this, or pumpkin talcary as some of you may call it. I'm just going to use the back of my spoon to mash it up a little bit. It's supposed to be somewhat smooth but just a little bit of texture. A good pumpkin is nice and dry and flavorful. Here is where you're going to taste it for salt as well. You know what, let me give it a little something something here. Mmm, it's not bad. You could probably use a little bit more salt, but you know what, your boy's trying to cut back on the salt, so I'm not gonna add any more. Since it's already drying up now, what I'm gonna do is, bam, I'm gonna add back that shrimp that we, we cooked up earlier into the pot here, and give that a stir. We want that shrimp flavor to intensify now with a pumpkin. I, I, as usual guys, I gotta say, it's smelling real nice in this kitchen right now. Uh, an easy way to get your kids to eat pumpkin as well too, even the adults who doesn't like pumpkin. This shrimp, and trust me, it won't taste like seafood. If you're wondering, hey, why is he putting shrimp in there? This will not taste anything like shrimp. However, that underlying sort of flavor you're gonna get from it is gonna be totally outstanding. I'm burning off all this liquid that, we, that you're seeing here. It may take a few minutes, but I'll show you the end product in a little while. It took about 10 minutes and I've got a nice, thick, finishedly cooked pumpkin. All nice and good here. Now all that liquid has burnt off. So I'm going to turn off my stove. And that is it. Now if you're wondering why did he cook the shrimp, take it out and put it back in. I quickly cooked it at the start to build that flavor base. And the second thing is I didn't want to overcook the shrimp. So by adding it at the end here, you won't get a rubbery texture sort of shrimp. Shrimp is going to add a lovely base flavor to this. All we're going to do now is just pour it out into the platter or the plate or the bowl that you're serving it in. And there you go, guys. 
friends, amigos. Pumpkin and there's some, the shrimp is all on the bottom here. The shrimp is in there, trust me on this. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. So nice to have you guys within the kitchen, as I said earlier. It's always a pleasure having you over at my house here in my kitchen. A little close-up of it, nice little steam coming out of it there. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. Have a great day as usual.